Now guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an automation from Apple shortcuts to N8N to Apple Notes. And I'm going to prepare this little uh, thing here where I'm showing how, to, how it works on the iPhone. I can have it uh, started right from my uh, home screen and I can just uh, talk my thoughts into it. And I've pre-recorded this here, so let me just skip it forward a little bit so we're not gonna wait all the time and it's gonna go ahead and transcribe it for us and next thing we can basically jump into google uh, into apple notes and see the result right here and now a second cool use case uh, here is that uh, we can use this whole thing also for whatsapp voice messages so basically when we forward a voice message we can also use the shortcut that will basically forward it to the same automation and jump into notes and also here we have the note recorded and i'm going to show you how to build this thing in this video and guys if you're new here my name is julian and i have been a full stack developer for the last 10 years and usually i build automations like this for clients and um, if you have a really interesting project in mind that you would like to do, then um, yeah, have a look in the comments and book a call to discuss your automation project. So let me walk you through the shortcut. Basically, it starts with receiving an input from an app. So this input can be an audio file and audio file, it, like it will, it will look through here if there was actually an input. So this could be useful if you had like an, an actual file from somewhere. It could be a voice message from WhatsApp or from Telegram. Um, it could be just a file from Drive, an audio file. If you don't have it, it's basically this else block. It will just start recording. So if you trigger the workflow from your iPhone or I could even trigger it from the Mac, then it would just take the the audio and yeah also set it as a variable so either way we're going to end up with an audio file next step and i've kind of blanked this out here but next step is going we're going to make a post request and this post re request will go to an it and workflow so we can actually trigger the transcription and the summarization so if you would set this up yourself you would basically enter here the URL of your N8N work, uh, of your N8N webhook, and yeah, can basically after retrieve the the contents. One important thing uh, that you should definitely uh, consider is putting an authorization. You can configure it, and I will show it in the next step, just so like not someone else can just hammer your webhook with requests because it's basically going straight to the OpenAI API. So yeah, we don't really want that. And then we will just attach a request form and in there we will just attach the file basically. So then we will get the response and we get the text from it. And I will show you later in the N8N workflow, it was a bit tricky to get this work, but you will basically get the, get the text here and it will be HTML formatted. That is necessary because I figured out I wanted to basically put it into notes because for me notes is the app that I use for all the yeah basically all my uh, stuff so I wanted to also capture my thoughts into notes and uh, I want to figure out how to properly format it so this was the way basically from in and then we're going to return it in html and this will just write it straight into the note you can also like um, specify the folder here and yeah I think this will be clearer when we also look at the at the N8N workflow. And then basically we'll just stop and yeah, write to notes and that's it. And now let's take a quick look at the N8N workflow. It's really very simple. Um, we're basically having a webhook, uh, the webhook that we call also from the shortcut. So um, this one actually, hell, let's quickly look into it. We have uh, here obviously the test URL and um, that we can use to, to test it. We have the credentials here. Uh, like I said, I would uh, to uh, implement some sort of authorization uh, on this webhook. 
uh, just to not have it unprotected. I mean, it's at least has this like um, unique ID behind it, but yeah, you better want to have it saved. And um, next step is basically uh, here we will receive the the file. And then we can just use the transcribe node from uh, from OpenAI. So when we when we look here into the two nodes, we have a recording because we basically input um, a recording f of any kind, like I said already. We can put it in here. Uh, we will specify data. Uh, now, if you remember from the shortcuts, we specified this field as a form uh, input data and um, yeah, we're gonna get back the transcription from OpenAI. And then next, we're just gonna put in, into a message model node. And this is the summarization part. Um, basically, the transcribed text will go in here as the user message and the system message, I can show you quickly, uh, will be basically, yeah, take my sp spoken thoughts and create a slightly cleaned up version in English, maintaining my original voice and style extract the relevant title from the content and um yeah just to uh, be be clear like this can obviously be like adapted in any way you want it i really wanted to not summarize it too much i just wanted to clean up the context so if i like started on rattling on something that's not really relevant it would just clean this out make it a bit more concise and um, then also give me the key points. So like any important questions or tasks found in the text, um, that will be like the quick summary. So if we want to see quickly, is there any action steps from this, what I, what I recorded or what someone else sent me as a recording, then uh, this is what we could look into. And um, yeah, basically I like to write the prompts in uh, XML. It's been shown that uh, across, even across models, it, it, it works very well. And um, I think also it helps to helps to like keep a keep a certain structure to your prompts. And I've also asked here for for JSON output, and you also see here I uh, specify output content as JSON. And um, we're gonna get this back. I'm just gonna write it to Airtype table. Uh, also the transcripts, uh, the full transcripts, and basically the JSON that we get. Um, yeah, for the key points, because that's an array, I'm just going to map over it uh, in this uh, JavaScript expression and basically just going to um, join it together in a nicely formatted string, uh, like bullet points. And I can show you also how that looks like in Airtable. And um, then we're just going to respond to the webhook. So this is important. You have to specify when you uh, set up the webhook, you already have to specify using respond to webhook node. And um, so we're going to specify here the respond to webhook. And like I said, this one will respond in uh, HTML. And um, yeah, just, just so you know, I've spent a lot of time trying to get this to work. So it will actually properly format it in, uh, in notes. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to write it into Notion or wherever, it's probably also better if you would have it in Markdown because uh, it's just that Apple Notes is a little weird here. Like, for example, it will actually take the H1 and make it the title of the note. It will also take into consideration if you do a BR, uh, so basically a break line, um, and it will, it will adhere to that. It won't adhere to any H2, H4 or anything. It will do the, um, the list items um this unordered list items that works i don't know it's weird probably if you would uh if i would have tried a bit longer maybe at some point i would have also gotten like proper headings and stuff but this is good enough for me and i mean it's really just about the the utility of this tool and um yeah but we're gonna respond in html and yeah that's it in n8n but let's do another quick demo on how i basically test this thing so i'm gonna turn on the the trigger event in n8n this is the test one and i also have a test uh, workflow from uh, and then i can basically yeah just trigger it and it will start listening right away to um, yeah what i have to say basically now 
And um, yeah, it will basically take it in and uh, quickly transcribe it, summarize it, write it to notes, write it to Airtable, and we're just going to look at it, uh, the final output. So you can see how it's uh, running through the um, NLL -N workflow now. And also you can see here, automating voice transcription and management. So just going to trigger it, start listening right away. And what I have to say, I will quickly transcribe and it will also give us the key points. And um, then also we can go into Airtable. And like you see, here's also the turn uh, of what we just talked about. And there is the, uh, or like, mm, yeah, summary, not quite. Here we have the, uh, the bullets um, that we got out and we have the title. And you see, I already did a lot of testing to actually get this to work. I mean, <laughs> actually in, um, Airtable, it's pretty easy with the formatting, but uh, yeah, app notes was just um, something else. But yeah, I think uh, this whole thing can be pretty helpful. Like I'm gonna use this for sure a lot. Uh, another really cool thing is I can basically trigger this from uh, Raycast. So I can just like say here, capture thoughts and um, just run the, the automation from here. And um, it would just also same thing, just start and uh, listening to what we have to say. And um, obviously in like the real life scenario, I would probably talk into this for like, I don't know, two minutes, five minutes, whatever. And um, yeah, I can just like wherever I am, be it at the phone, be it at the computer, I can just quickly capture my thoughts and have it transcribed, have it summarized. Obviously, you can like fine tune the prompt um, to whatever you like. And um, yeah, then you can just work with that. And also we can now see in the, here in the uh, executions that it's running now. It was a bit longer, but still like five seconds is pretty, pretty okay. And um, yeah, here we have it, this one. And that's it. So guys, let me know what you think about this automation. I think it's pretty cool, to be honest. Like uh, it was on my list and i really wanted it for myself but i thought it would also be like a cool workflow to share uh, on youtube um just one thing that i think is pretty cool actually i, I didn't know about like this uh, power of these apple shortcuts um i think in the end it's like a really cool opportunity to start any automation and in, in end really because we can trigger via webhook and um yeah, also like Apple Shortcut offers a lot, a lot of options to um, do something with the output afterwards. So I think it could be really cool. And uh, let me know if you will use it and what you uh, will do with it in the comments. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one.